G'day Marvel Future Fight Gamers, welcome back to the channel, Vader G here. As you can see on screen, Jean Grey update has dropped. I've bought her uniform, uh, I've also bought Psylocke's, as you can see there, and also Storms. Um, I think I've tried all uniforms out in uh, World Boss. I have to admit the damage from Jean was not... There was really not much extra damage. Uh, I've only got her uniform at Rare, I think it is, the second level. I haven't bought Beast uniform yet. I'm not sure how. I'm not sure if I'd actually use that uniform, so I'm just not going to hold off on that. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to test her out in Timeline, and you might say, "Well, okay, she's banned from Timeline. How can you do that?" Well, what I like to do here and there is actually test uh, units out, particularly after an update if they're looking PvP type units. I like to test them out against other players in uh, Timeline battles. So usually I like to. You know, try them out against some guys with really high HP. You can see my build here in the background for Jean. Um, she's built for PvP, although I'm not much of a PvP player. Uh, she's got a CTP of destruction. There's a uniform options there. Uh, I've got she's at rare, but I've got none of. I don't own actually any of the, any of the Inception uniforms. So what I'll do here is I'll try her out against a couple of guys with high HP. Um, and I will say. I think the three guys that I'm going to try her out against, these are VIP 20 accounts. Um, HP pushing up around the, probably up around the 40% or even more. Uh, I've used Wasp Lead to buy Jean a little bit of time to, to get her skills off cooldown. I know Wasp will just die basically all the time. Let's have a look and see what happens here. So she's up against a level 70 Doom, and she prioritizes her five skills through the timeline battle. And I noticed this when I was using it quite a bit. Uh, let's see how she goes against Captain Marvel. Yeah, no surprise, she gets wiped out there with Captain Marvel's uh, four skill. But let's see how she comes back and revives. Smashes her with her five skill and game over for Captain Marvel. I'm not sure if she'll survive Spider-Man here. I, you know, she's got a tight disadvantage um, with uh, speed over blast, but there she goes. So, so my gene is level 60, right? No real uniform option, and she's just smoked Doom, uh, Captain Marvel, and Spidey. So let's let's try another another match up here. Who are we going to go for? Uh, Sheep, he's not HR, he, he's not VIP 20, but I can tell you this guy is an amazing PvP player, AT player, AT strategist, amazing. So I like trying my units out against Sheep. But I think he's uh, you know he's an amazing opponent when it comes to that. Once again, uh, Wash just gets smoked straight off, and you can see Gene just prioritizes that fifth skill and it's pretty well game over yeah okay she gets hammered here by doom's um fifth skill not surprising but she revives and game over again let's see how she goes against uh carol this time around oh she survives she survives the four skill and then brings down a reign of pain on captain marvel's party Corvus a pretty worthy opponent in uh, timeline battle. Also not too bad in uh, in Alliance tournament uh, back in the day. Gene dispatches him without too much issue, and and I can assure you that uh, cheap units here they will be built. I mean they will be AT perfection. Uh, he's that type of player. Once again. She comes away with a win. She solos a very high level team, three level 70 characters, including a T3 Captain Marvel. One more test against my mate, Alan, um, who, you know, involved in Awesome Mix Volume 1, currently in an AT alliance, which is why I picked him, and I know he always builds his units, you know, extremely well, as good as anyone. My, my Wasp actually lasts a little bit longer there. And, uh, okay, so... Her five skill missed, but she's still able to come back with her three skill and finish Doom off. See again. Bang. It's game over. Will she survive this? Onslaught from Captain Marvel? Just. So she's just hanging in there. She has certainly more survivability with this uniform, but her damage and her evasion type skills are amazing. She has so much iframe with this new uniform. Like I said, I tried her out in in giant uh, in in world boss. I didn't. I thought you know that's it's not much of a uniform. But now, after looking at her in timeline, she is purely PvP focus. So here I've chosen. I'm going to choose a couple of guys with really high attack. So probably first one, first cab off the rank. Not a known alliance tournament player. I've got to admit that, but very known for alliance battle. I just wanted to see how Gene fared against high attack 
uh, type builds as well. So Wasp is gone in two seconds. Gene comes back, somehow dodges that five skill and Doom's five skill and puts her own five skill out there. This time she's led with the four and then five, which is probably perfect um, skill timing. She dispatches Scarlet Witch as if she's not even there, and that was a level 70 Scarlet Witch. Captain Marvel takes her out. Not for long. Over in 30 seconds solo effort. Um, as you can see, that's absolutely amazing. For a level 60 unit, she's going to be untouchable at level 70. And with tier 3, she's not going to be touchable at all. Um, no unit in the game, I don't think, will be able to match it with her um, when it comes to PvP. Just based on this timeline, and I'm not talking Alliance tournament, I'm really talking timeline battle and other, other sort of PvP type modes. Once again, Wasp just gone, but gives Jean a little bit of time to get her skills on cooldown. Who we are, I think we're up against Cosmic here. Also, huge attack on cards, like 90% uh, energy, 80% uh, plus physical. Like these guys in my alliance, these are VIP 20 players with really close to perfect cards, or all perfect. Probably can't be improved on uh, unless a miracle occurs for them. And yeah, once again, she just powers through. She, so that's three very well-built uh, alliance battle units. And she just powers through. So she's not discriminating based on, yeah, okay, you're an alliance, you're, you know, you're, you're a PvP build, I'm going to smash you. Um, if you're an alliance build, even with high attack and very sharp, uh, quick attacks, uh, skills like Doom has very, you know, very good attacks. Let's see how she goes here. Wasp, actually, Wasp actually hangs in. So we'll see, we should see um, Jean's skills on full cooldown here. Let's see what she does. Yep, she's leading with that 5 skill again. 3 skill. And that's that's all she needs. That's all you need. Then Doom's Dust once again leads with the 5 skill. Then the 2 skill. See how she goes in Scarlet Witch here. That 3 skill. Presses the three skill and it's all over. Then she's led with the five skill against Captain Marvel. Got drilled, got absolutely smoked, but then has another go with her five skill, and it's a different story. So I'm just going to leave it there, guys. I think that uh, I just wanted to show that. I think she's a pretty amazing PvP unit. Like I said, I tried her out in wall boss mode. Really negligible increase in damage, if any increase at all, on her non uniform self. Uh, when it comes to like a PvE type scenario. Like I said, the uniform's very, very early days and I don't really know how to use the skills now that they're not sort of fire skills. But um, watch out for timeline. Jean Grey. Alright guys, I hope the video's uh, been of some use there. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Comment below. And uh, I look forward to hearing back from you. Thank you very much. Bye.